the only secured place which is the starting point of any relationship should be common interest common interest i tell people this for you to engage in a relationship that is heading to marriage as a lady you are not interested in politics you have no interest in politics and a man is asking you out and he's ready to get married to you and he's a politician you are putting yourself into a big frustration so the place to engage the meeting point to engage in a relationship with someone is what i call common ground or what i call common interest is very very important you people might not be interested in it the same way but it has to be a common ground because in the place of common ground i'm going to talk about it in three ways we have what you call compatibility we have what you call complementary and what you have called we have what you call you know adaptability now the major common ground that is very important for anyone that wants to engage in a relationship has to do with you know the area of life okay for example you have an interest in helping the orphanage or building an orphanage home and that is what you want to use your life to do and now you're not interested in a lady that says i hate hearing children cry the common interest is not there there need to be a meeting point you are called to be a relationship consultant and you're not even interested you're not interested in a lady that is not interested in supporting helping or being involved you're setting yourself up so it is common interest is the key word common interest there must be a compatibility of the same direction in life okay it's not possible like someone is going to lagos and you're not entering a car that is going to benue state it doesn't work well it doesn't really work well so is there compatibility in your direction in life that's the first question you should ask where are you going to in life and more importantly what are you going to do in the future you are going to it's very important i tell people marriage <laughs> i'll come to that topic i'll come to that topic okay marriage is not just about the wedding but it's about the practicing in the wedding in the marriage let me repeat that marriage is not about the wedding but it's about what both of you people will be doing when married that is why many people are saying marriage is so boring i don't know what to talk with my partner i don't know what to do with my partner because there was no agenda of a mission to anywhere where's your direction in life and what are you going to do in the future that you are going to what are you going to be practicing what will this person be cooperating with you in the relationship in the marriage is very important those are the things that you should define and will help you to know where to start a relationship with start from the place of common interest remember i spoke about you know how to engage in a relationship in that clip i talked about attraction that is the same point i'm coming back to where to start a relationship from is the place of your attraction attraction and that is the place of common interest is very important common interest now let me speak about attraction and common interest we have what we call physical attraction some people see every human being is wired to function some people are appealing to people that are short some people are appealing i mean people that are tall i mean that's the what they call spec right okay so you must be able to know yourself and know what works from you some people like ladies that are hairy some people like ladies that have good shapes some people like ladies with curvy legs some people like ladies with straight legs and guys you know <laughs> the other version of whatever that might be appealing to you physically know that point and that is it physical attraction is very important intellectual attraction that is where to start your relationship is very important what does it mean to be intellectually attracted to the person it is when you enjoy the ideas of the person how the person talks the way the person talks the idea the person shares you must be it must be something thrilling it must be something you you can always learn from that is what we call intellectual attraction social attraction is very important 
this has to do with events and meetings if you're not interested in attending events and meetings this person love attending to or attending when you are dating or when you're married how can you follow him there how can you follow her there it's not possible so as a christian i mean the guy says oh i love night parties and all of a sudden you are interested and you start a relationship and you say oh I need you to follow me to the night party and say, no, I'm a child of God. My sister, did he tell you from the beginning he loves night parties? So you are socially not attracted to each other because it's a two-way thing. It's a two-way street that cannot merge. It's very important. Very, very important. Then we have what you call financial attraction. Mm, very important. I call it financial attraction. Hey, you must be very, you must be very curious to know the direction these people spend things on. My brother, don't start complaining in the marriage and in the wife dating. When, before you met her, she always spent money on her wig. She spends money on her makeup. She spends money on traveling around. Now you are dating and you are married and you say, I don't want you to be moving up and down. My brother, did she, didn't you see her that way before you started a relationship? That's a wrong stand. Please, before you engage in a relationship, the way, way to start a relationship with know what the person used to spend their money on because my brother it will tell on your atm card in future know what the lady spends money on know what this man spends money on it's very important know their spending lifestyle are there a waster is this man or a lady an investor does this man or lady have a savings what do they spend their money on these are the very things, this is, these are the things you start from, you start with. These are the places you start your relationship. It's very important. Remember I spoke about compatibility? Complementary. Now, let me balance this up. Because you like talking does not mean you must date somebody that talks. You like talking? She must be someone that likes conversation too, that likes listening. So you can compliment each other. The area of your strength can complement the area of her weakness. The area of her weakness can complement the area of your strength. That's how it works. That is where to start a relationship. Don't start a relationship from the point where the person's strength is not complementing yours, yours is not complementing the person. It doesn't work well. Then adaptability is very important. Because you're in a relationship with somebody, that does not mean you'll be in every spot of their life. Yes, they're in a relationship with, but they have their own life to live. They have their own life to take care of. So it doesn't mean you have to be in every picture of their life. You need to adapt. When this person needs to go to an event that you don't necessarily need to be there because of the kind of occupation or the kind of assignment the person does, don't put yourself in there. Hear me, intimacy is not being in the picture all the time. You need to give this person their privacy. Sometimes they need to be alone. Sometimes they need to take themselves out on a date without your interference. Sometimes they need to hang out with their friends alone without you. And there are times they take you alone. So let's understand relationship and marriage is not living your life for a man. It's not living your life for a lady. It is sharing your life together. The times you want to be alone should be respected. The time she wants to be alone should be respected. This is the point. Compatibility, complementary, and adaptability. I believe with this, you will be able to know that starting point of how to engage and flow and grow. And you know what? And enjoy an amazing and healthy relationship. If you have any question, I need you to hit the comment below and I will respond to your question. My name is Prince Victor Matthew and I am your favorite relationship consultant. Thank you.